Incinerators remain one of the most effective ways of destroying waste. It has applications in hospitals, abattoirs and mine hospitals for the destruction of medical waste and carcasses. It also has applications in the mining industry for recovery of precious metals from waste. It also spans the domain of the public service, particularly the post office and defence force, for the guaranteed destruction of sensitive documents and of course health departments and municipalities find them incredibly useful for the destruction of condemned waste. Now in this video we're going to show you the most popular large um, scale incinerator available in South Africa today and this machine is capable of incinerating about 220 kilograms of waste per hour. Now that equates to about 1.2 tons of material in a 67 hour um, span of the useful and safe operation. It's important to appreciate that the time span of destruction of various waste products will vary with the water content or hydration. Uh, those um, waste products with a high water content will take somewhat longer and those which are extremely dry will burn very quickly. My name's Eric Schwanepoel and uh, I'm the owner of this incinerator which I bought a year ago and uh, the thing that we, the reason why we bought this incinerator is because it's currently one of the biggest in the country and the capacity of this uh, incinerator which we've tested it can handle up to about 100 so to speak per month and uh, the nice thing about this oven is that you don't have to make any changes to the temporary to the to the airflow to the diesel flow it does that all by itself once you started it up and the oven reaches it, the incinerator reaches its uh, temperature, it switches off the flow of the diesel itself and then it burns on its own. We've got a big reservoir tank on the outside of the building which is a 23,000 litre diesel tank and it, the diesel gets fed from the, from the main tank through these pipes that comes in through the electric pump. This electric pump is basically there to fill the reservoir tank at the top from where the incinerator draws his diesel. Once that tank comes out of, out of runs short on diesel, this pump automatically kicks in to refill the reservoir tank so that the, the incinerator itself does not run out of diesel and you use only as much as the uh, incinerator. Quite a heavy bore. It has to be like that because it's also filled with concrete to prevent uh, the heat to go outside because this is the actual working area where the uh, person that is in charge of the incinerating uh, process has to be work has to work and then he will he's obviously protected by the door once he moves in front of it. On the side there, there's the two holes where the injectors will uh, the flames will be coming out. Yeah, 
in the front, we have a, a, a pit that after the incineration process has been completed, the ashes will be put into this uh, pit here, which falls into a, as into, it falls into a sump. After that, the sump has been, is removed, and then it goes for further processing. Over here, we have a fan that is, that drives air through the sump, back into the incinerator. So if air, if there is any, anything left in it, that air, will still keep blowing and, and keep on burning away the, the ashes that's in the sun. Over here we have the control box. So you can see at the top your, your, bur your, 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 uh, your burners itself. The top ones is the two primary burners, which is on, which is on the right there. This is the two burners that will I'll just switch them on. As soon as we turn this button, the, the machine itself will start up and the diesel will start flowing and the flames will come out. Then you have the afterburner chamber which catches all the, uh, the loose pieces of material and that is uh, the last burn before. Now this is the afterburner section which I spoke about earlier. In this part of the incinerator, the main purpose of this afterburner section is to give you a clean, smoke-free burn from where the heat is disposed out to the chimney. And this is extremely, we found this to be extremely effective in that we have no air pollution and no smokestacks that, that people would expect to see when something is burning. Stack. The, the incinerator is currently in operation and you can have a look at the top. There is no smoke coming out of it and there is no pollution coming out of it. The only time that you do have some smoke coming out is the moment that you do the incinerator and the flames starts burning. On. When that starts burning you have smoke for about five minutes then all the smoke disappears and then you have what, as you can see at the moment, clear, clear air coming out at the top. No, no constant smoking or smells coming out of the chimney. Well, there you have an overview of the 450LA incinerator. As you can see, there is a high degree of workmanship and technical prowess that goes into these machines. But we manufacture and supply machines from very small to substantially larger than the one you've seen in this video. Should you wish to explore options further about investing in one of these machines, please feel free to contact us with your specifications and we can formulate a quote for you.